Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north, more specifically Denver, Colorado, and even more specifically than that, I'm in front of Casa Bonita. Now this is a Mexican restaurant here in this strip mall, founded 1973, but this has been on my list for a very long time. This, I don't know how to fully describe it because I've not experienced it myself yet, but it's supposed to be the most zany, wacky, and just overall over the top restaurant experiences in the world. I know I've not seen the episode because I'm not a huge fan, but I, I know this has been featured on South Park, the, the cartoon show. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and experience this together. Follow me. See, it's impressive from the outside. It's this massive tower in this otherwise ordinary strip mall. So what do we have to expect from uh, Casa Bonita? They have live entertainment. They have cliff, daring cliff drivers setting gunfight, gunfighting while you're eating. Hope you don't choke. Magicians, strolling musicians, puppetos, dancing monkeys. That's probably a big one for me. You can see some of the, I guess that would be the dancing monkeys right there. This, this sounds amazing. All right, we enter through here. Um, the beginning part is almost like a Disney queue line. You can see it's like a, like a Mexican village. There's a little sitting area in here. even split in two lines like a like in a theme park attraction. Oh there's a there's a map Cosmini that says it's the world's largest restaurant. There's an upper level and lower level, the lagoon, the stage, the caves. This is gonna be good. And yes the queue line's a little clogged up now. This is a very popular place. Looks like there's some old Mexican gunfighting posters. A little vegetable cart there. And I really like this old school Fanta sign. You should get tokens up on the second floor. Looks a little bit like Pedro. It's kind of served cafeteria style. You put your order in, kind of in the middle of the line, and then you come down here and claim your food. Here's everyone's food getting ready to be served. Alright, so here's my food. I got two burritos smothered in cheese with a taco. It costs about fifteen dollars uh, because you have to you have to order a dish in order to actually have access to the restaurant itself. Uh, it's got some chips and salsa there, and this is a flag. If you need anything, you pull it up, and your waitress will come. I love this system. That way, you can eat in peace until you need something, and then just lift that up. All right, let's dig in here. See if it's good. Mm, that's good. This guy's gonna do some dives. Oh, where is he going? Oh, what's he doing? That's crazy. The tree was in the way. All right, here we go. He's gonna do something awesome. Sweet. Enjoying Mexican food while watching cliff diving. All right, we have successfully cleaned our plate. Now we can explore this wonderland. They were stolen, okay? Uh, down there, the striped shirt. The striped shirt. And She's then, looking around like it's not her. But it was you, wasn't it? She threw them in the lagoon. The lagoon. What? Wait, what?
Oh, wow. <laughs> you scare me more than I scare you. I don't know what just happened in the fishing room. It's the gift shop right there. They have all your sombrero and pirate flag needs. It's not Zoltar, but we have a fortune telling lady. Alright, we're gonna head out into uh, into the hideout of Black Bart. Supposedly this is potentially scary. Can we pull on this rope here? Oh, we lift it up. And we can see the jewels. Black Bart says uh, this is kid size, so warning to grown ups. All right. Boop. Ah, jeez, who are you? It's very dark in here. Some kid jump scared me for no reason. Oh, jeez. It's a pretty creepy skull right there. Oh, wow. What is that? That's like Blackbeard's face, maybe. Danger bottomless pit. Some rubies. What's up there? Oh, some sort of creepy bat-like creature. Do not look. Oh, creepy eyeballs. You found it, Black Bart's loot. What's that noise? What's in here? Can't really see uh, Black Bart's loot very well. Ignacio the Dreadful. Yeah, it does not seem to be. I think there's supposed to be like a jump scare popping up at you or something, but nothing's happening. Oh! Wow, it's very light compressed air. Not too scary. What's this? A giant monster face? Alright. Going into the mouth of a giant monster beast. What's this? What's that say? Last chance to escape if the dynamite blows. Is there gonna be dynamite somewhere? All right. Uh, we made it. Where are we going? This is the arcade area. Hey, I'm getting better at this. No. I guess you put the tokens in here. I think you load these out with tokens. And then you pull this. Oh, and they all dump down. And then they push these, and then nothing happens, because I'm a loser. All right, I think we might be able to get that dinosaur right there with that claw. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was just terrible. All right, we're gonna feed Big Bertha. That's her right there. We gotta try to make her gain weight by feeding her these green balls. Ah! She's only 250 pounds. Line it up and... Oh, it just spilled on the ground. All right, it's bowling game. Instead of bowling with balls, we're bowling with tokens. Let's see if we can get a strike. It got tripped on all these other stupid tokens. How am I supposed to hit it with all these tokens laying there? Okay, gonna play some mouse attack. I think I've ever played this before. It's a big wheel of cheese here. Okay, press the button to start. And then, oh, okay. I gotta uh, smash the mice with this hammer. Whack. Oh, no cheese for you. This is kind of violent. Oh, we got some of my cheese. Oh, they're all. They're, I, I've lost. Oh, they've they psyched me out. I used to go skating in middle school. This is the only arcade machine they had at the skating alley. Right, we gotta 
move the monster, or the centipede. You gotta move your little guy with this thing, then shoot with this. Just keep shooting this centipede breaks apart. There's a spider involved somehow. So apparently they do normally have gunfights, but uh, according to this out of respect for victims of the STEM school shooting, not be performing gunfights until further notice. All right, we have people getting ready for a uh, puppet show under that giant stone skull. I just realized this uh, this tree is evil right here, and he has an owl on his head as well. It's a little puppet playing the organ up there on top. Whoa, whoa, what's in that? My son on that Terry, I was uh, busy taking a Jurassic nap. Ha, <laughs> good one, Rex. Really good one. Well, anyways, thanks for coming out to Casa Bonita. Well, of course, Terry. Uh, you said we're celebrating, though. Uh, what exactly do you mean? Some dining in the cave back here. This guy doing caricatures. Oh no. It's sending a punch fight. This is where you get jail photos. I guess you can pose in the jail here and oh, we have the South Park guy in jail. Okay, this is the Keen Sabi mine. Okay, I guess this is a separate dining area. If you're sitting at table 211, you can enjoy your dinner with this miner's corpse right here. Okay, here's another dining room with a stage in it. This is restaurant is expansive and there's all these hidden dining rooms. Let's see what prophecies Estrella has to tell us. She put a quarter in there and making her fortune telling movements. Her ball is flashing different colors. What's our fortune? Do we get do we get a fortune? Oh wait. She needs to make more hand gestures. And... Dang, they must be out of fortunes. Pretty cool arcade down here, almost like a vintage arcade that probably wasn't vintage uh, when it was installed. Let's see if we can grab this sloth down here. Nope. Claw is too weak. Like his, like his hat. It's Gorilla juggling. Now 
where's he going? Uh oh. He's running free in the restaurant. He's harassing people while they're trying to eat. Oh, here he comes. Hey, gorilla. Where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, he got him. What's he gonna do? Oh my gosh. What to applaud his action. Applaud more. I'm gonna do a little dance. Now, I have not seen one of these in forever. Fanky Maloon. This is a balloon making machine. So uh, it takes three takes three quarters. Choose color of your balloon. Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? All right, oh, there's the balloon and there we go. Hope it doesn't pop. Oh, float to the top there. You can see it's a, uh, it's a Ninja Turtles balloon. Full of helium, apparently. This is also a fun part of my childhood. These chicken machines. This one's got a parrot in it. Let's uh, feed him a quarter. And watch him dance. <laughs> he still, he still plucks like a chicken, even though he's a parrot. Oh, are we done? Oh, what's in the egg? Look at that. It's a mini rubber chicken. How cute. See the jaws of yesteryear gummed up. It's like a movie machine for a quarter in here oh this doesn't take quarters guess we'll never know it's dimes who has dimes this is casa land they have a bunch of motorized machines the children can ride it does say that there is a, a weight limit so Adults are sadly uh, not, a, not allowed to ride. We'll just have to ride vicariously. Go donkey, show them what you're made of. Wait, what's this, the treasure, treasure room? There's, what's going on? Silly Nemo in there. Oh, is that a Billy Bass? Slightly non-functional, but he's still moving his head. That's what's important. And I think all along we knew that the true treasure was candy. That was Casa Bonita, one of the most unique restaurants in all the country. It's almost like a labyrinth in there. You walk around, there's just strange things, little Easter eggs to find. And then a lot of the diving shows, like, who wanted to, who thought of that? Like, let's make it a Mexican restaurant, but we'll have cliff diving indoors in a strip mall. It'll all be good. Let's have a gorilla run around. It's all gonna be fun. Really cool experience. Uh, it was really popular. You, you had to line up like you're lining up for a Disney ride. Uh, so cool. But I definitely recommend this to anyone in the Denver area. Um, please, if you'd like to uh, see other places I've been, check the interactive map in the description. It'll tell you where I've been and you can tell me where I need to go. Also, if you would uh, like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon. But for now, this one's in the bag.